Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've done a video instead of a stream, so forgive me if I'm a bit rusty, but welcome to Minecraft. Now this is a mod pack called DDSS, or Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles, and it is a hardcore mod pack where there are enormous changes across every crafting recipe. But I'm coming in today to show off this and hopefully help anyone who plays DDSS or in general want to try and automate using different mods their uh their um botania setup for making runes speaking of where is my runic altar now i've never really been one for botania i've never been good at it i've that's something amy and strange have been doing but for the sake of this video I have, for the sake of the video, I have cheated in my own little thing for it. Good, it's still going to the runic, or it says it is, but just to be safe. There we go. Um, But for the sake of the video, I'm doing it. Now, what we're going to be doing is automating air runes. And that is because I needed air runes to make this greenhouse glass now i did it by hand and it took me close to two hours to make enough to cover this entire 15 by 15 field and not because i was generating mana slowly in amy's and strange's place it just it takes that long just standing there and clicking everything and waiting and you can get other stuff done in the meantime speaking of these inferium tier six seeds are amazing um so what are you going to need to, all right, before we begin, to make a rune of air in this mod pack, it takes purple peacock feather, snowball, mana powder, mana steel ingots, dilithium, and string mesh. Also, Amy made my dog a doghouse. Yes, she did. You're a good, annoying flesh lord. Yes, you are. And I have a hamster over here somewhere. Anywho, ignore him. Um, Back on topic. So... As you can see, the whole thing is held together by the immersive engineering, redstone wire connectors, and redstone wire. Everything is set up through that and timed out through redstone clocks. Now, you'll have to adjust the timing on these things depending on how fast mana is generated and pushed into your build. And I don't have a method for just picking up the rune. I know there is a way to filter that and so that only that gets picked up and not the living rock, which, speaking of, let me just... grab one of those because I am gonna need that later so let's start off with showing you how this let's just show you how it works so in the mechanical users that I have I have them I have in this one I have the wand of four set on the top left slot using only this it's right click use item on block up here is the actually editions automatic precision dropper if you're playing DDSS I'm sure you'll know how to look these things up and it's not like it's hard to build in comparison to this um mod pack anyway it's uh advanced crafting it's just stone two copper gears four palace a dropper and a basic coil and even then the hardest thing probably to do is going to be the palace crystals because they but even then it's just lapis um so let me go ahead and put one of those in there and in each one of these i'm going to put the item, so a snowball, mana steel ingot, dilithium, and just so you know, you need to activate block with item. Do not use item, activate block with item. Set it to right click and upper left slot only, and then drop yourself. So you can technically do just a stack. If you fill this whole thing up, just want it to randomly go, just hit random, change this to random, it'll still do it. It'll just, I just don't have enough of them on me right now to do this, and I didn't feel like automating it to do all of that. Alrighty, so we have all this in, everything's ready to go for this. Now, the reason what, now the, how this works is that inside of these mechanical users, each one facing a different face of it is this, the Ender Porcupine. By the way, this is how much stuff you're gonna need. You need seven mechanical users, uh, two redstone clocks, one lever, an engin your engineer's hammer, one automatic precision dropper, one ender porcupine, 13 redstone wire connectors, forget the chest, um, redstone wire coil, and of course your Batania setup. 
Now, this right here, this inner porcupine, when you place it down, you can right click it. Now, what you do is you select your range start to range end. For this one, I have it going along the Z axis, like you see three times. And what it does, if you hover over it, you can see that it's moved three times out. Now, it is relative to the position of the porcupine. The porcupine, whatever. So I'm also gonna set this, let's say, to five. And what happens is, if I were to put a mechanical user on this, and just like I did with this over here, I have my um, um, runic altar is within that little block. So when, just because I don't want to get ignited on me. Huh, I can see Strange's house from here. Um, it will use on this, but it actually is using whatever is in the block right here, which is that. You'll understand when you do it. So what I did was in the center of all six of these mechanical users is one of these things. So now you have a basic idea of what it should look like. Now, when setting this up, I made sure that there is um, you have to make sure there is a redstone wire connector on every single block, including the one down here. And I couldn't do that efficiently. I know that there's other ways to do this. I'm sure there's someone out there who has a much more efficient build and better timers and everything's wireless and it works perfect. But just for simplicity's sake and the fact that I have not looked up a single guide for this and that I don't do Batania, I did this myself. And it's a bit clunky. This is something you would refine over time. So what you do is whenever you hover over one of these with your engineer's hammer, you'll see it say a channel white. Now you can change the channel using, I don't remember how, I think terracotta or colored terracotta. But right now I have it set to output. You just right click it with your hammer and it changes it to input or output. You want all of these on output. Same with these. These are also going to be output. They're going to receive a signal as input from this one. So you're going to make sure that this is set to input and that this one, this one also needs to be input. Now the ones attached to your redstone blocks, they need to be outputs. And because of the speed at which my thing generates mana, um, I have it set with a 400, with using your redstone clock, I have it set to 440 second delay with a five second tick or five sec or a five tick activation, not five seconds. So it's by the tick. Um, this is important because you need to adjust these clocks based off of your time. Now the redstone clocks, as you're about to see, they aren't exactly difficult to make. It's just eight red alloy, eight silicon, five glass, two redstone gears and a clock. That's it, pretty damn simple. So let's go ahead and get all this going. We have everything set up right at 440. And I'm just gonna show you what happens and how it works while I'm at it. Let me toss some coal on this because if I run out of mana, it's gonna take a while. Eat that for me. Oh, they're full on mana. So let's click. Now there is now signal going to each of these clocks and they will not turn on because I have them set right here requires redstone. Now, when the timer hits, give it a second, you see? It flashed for a moment, all these activated and it dumped this directly onto your mana table. Now this is just gonna sit here and as you can see, the little counter for the rune is going up. When it reaches max, the mechanical user that's gonna use the wand will activate. So give it a moment. And boom, there you go, rune of air. And then in a few seconds, if I had anything else to give it, it would immediately, in like a second or so, it would then put the next one on. This system is set just slightly slower than the speed it takes for me to generate one rune so that I don't have a piling up of runes. I know there is a way to absorb only the item you want. I honestly have not looked into it though. Um, this is just a basic setup. It's a very quick video for you, just quickly showing it off. Um, I'm gonna be destroying all this because I didn't legitimately make these things. I just cheated them in for the sake of the video. And I'm not doing that to Amy and Strange who 
went through all the trouble of making their mana setups, automating it, all of that. They don't have these automated, but I made this hoping that if I show them, they'll be able to, and it should help out with the tediousness of making runes. Because it can get quite tedious. But to show you inside, if I... Don't forget, this needs to be, by the way, for your mechanical user, it needs to be set to redstone on, activate block with item, right click, and it needs to be upper left slot, but it can be on random, it don't matter, as long as you have items in there. So, let's just, let's just break into it. As you can see, here are the ender porcupines. With all of this pointing at it, and as I hover over it, you can see that the mana tablet, the mana station, mana, uh, runic altar, thank you. Is set for now I understand that this might not be your best setup we do have the elven mana uh, runic altar and using dream rock empowered and erratic uh, dragonstone elven lapis tear steel the runic altar and obsidianite blocks which is pretty cheap all in all you can actually put um, sparks on it over here and then attach it to a mana pool so that you don't have to do all this craziness which is far quicker than doing um through this way so you might be able to automate it to go even faster but for now this is what i'm doing this is what i've done i just thought i'd show it to you but i thank you once again for showing up and looking at this i know it's a quicker video i was supposed to do a stream today but i woke up sick and my stomach's kind of fighting me so, for the sake of this video, it's shorter, and there is no stream today. I am really sorry for those of you who are waiting on the stream, but I usually choose to take my health above everything else. And don't forget, this is all you're going to need right here outside of your basic mana setup. So, yeah. Give it a shot, give it a try. Maybe it'll help you out some. I'm hoping this... Um, is rather useful to y'all. I understand that it can be a pain in the butt to do runes, especially in this, ooh, oh, you're full. Ooh, so are you. Um, I know it can be a pain in the butt to do runes in this mod pack because there's so many materials needed and it takes so long. And in this pack where everything needs to be automated just so you can have time to do anything with as much crafting and how many recipes require the um how many re recipes require the advanced crafting tables so like advanced and elite and majest and like, it's just so much stuff that it's unreal so what you need to do is find ways to automate and that's and you can see almost every machine setup i have in some way has some form of automation attached to it, something set up to where I don't have to waste time on it, just so I can, comp um, you know, move forward in my quests. And I hope this helps you to it. But uh, thank you for coming in on this little mods, on this little uh, automation spotlight, which is what I'm going to call this from now on. Next time I do anything like that, and this has been Dying Demon. Bye.